Hey, so this is week three of the Lattice Training Program, uh, and it really functioned as a sort of deload week. So the first session, first exercise here, uh, was doing basically pretty easy uh, problems, but you know, they're pretty long and they can get bumpy. This first problem that I chose is, is relatively, I mean, warm-up level, uh, and I just picked it to kind of like get back in the, in the groove of things uh, because I had taken a couple days off. And yeah, so this is the first problem, pretty easy green. Uh, and I finished up without really any any difficulties here. This next problem was hard. Uh, it's a hard orange in the gym. I'd say it's somewhere around like a hard V4 or, or, or a V5 level just because the holds are, you know, they're all right, but the succession of moves and this right crimp is really shallow. Uh, and it really wears you out having to like switch your feet around for this next beta and I actually fell. So this is my second attempt on the boulder. Uh, the first attempt I did get uh, the majority of the way through and I just kind of fell on like the second to last move. So it was unfortunate but I decided to stick with the problem for the, for the next two rounds. Um, but that first round really did just drain me uh, way way too much. Uh, this right hand hold is a, is a pretty good jug, that's why I rest on it a tiny bit. Uh, in you know hindsight, looking at this video, I probably should rest a little bit longer uh, to have the energy to move on. Uh, but yeah, really hard orange problem, super pumpy, and it actually affected the rest of the session uh, based on how I did with this as well. So third attempt was my last attempt. I tried to think of some beta that would help me maybe save some energy uh, a little bit more because I was getting onto the wall already, you know, more tired than like I thought I should have been uh, for this session at least, especially on a deload week. Uh, so I decided to give it my all, but I wasn't gonna do anything special if I did, uh, you know, fall on this attempt, uh, which did end up happening. It's just that left crimp is so good, but that right crimp is really shallow. Uh, I decided to dial it down a little bit for the last boulder, uh, and this purple one, pretty easy. Uh, and because it was, I think I made some bad beta decisions and just decided to hop around a little bit and not conserve so much energy, um, which comes to bite me later, uh, later on in the problem. Also, I hear I needed to go right to, to a gas on the volume, and I felt like I could have fallen on this guy who started while I was on the wall, uh, so I had to wait for him, and this tired me out as well. Uh, so much so that I don't actually end up matching the the last jug. Or it's actually pretty slopey. Uh, yeah, there's like no in cut on it, it's just a big round pinch. So this is the third attempt on it, uh, and I think, it, I mean, I obviously conserved a lot more energy because I don't have to like wait on anyone to move out of my way. Um, and I decided not to jump around so much and, and use a little bit of hip flexibility to make sure I'm not cutting feet. Uh, I also realized that this, I can span to this next pinch hold. Uh, and I guess this is just a height thing. And it saves some energy there. And I felt pretty good, I thought I was gonna match it, but my forearms are just so pumped uh, that that was the end of the session. This is two days later, and here I'm doing this black line. Uh, essentially, I'm doing it three times in a row uh, with two other problems as well. Uh, and I'm resting, that's like a set, and I'm resting about two minutes in between each set. So this is the first problem of the first set, uh, just after the warm up. Yeah, relatively pretty comfortable. Um, getting a bit used to you know where all the hands and feet are. Uh, coming back to it, I think my second attempt was actually like my worst. Um, it just seemed like I forgot all of my beta and I and I spent uh, a little bit too long on the wall than than I needed to.
and last attempt here. Uh, last attempt is actually pretty good. Uh, I think this problem has a lot of hip flicking, uh, where you know your feet are pretty wide apart and you have to quickly transition your weight over to, to one side of, of, of your body. Uh, and I thought it was a, a pretty cool technique to train. Uh, and yeah, I just really appreciate boulder problems where you know a lot of problems that like you just climb without really thinking what style of boulder problem it is. And then this is one of those rare problems where while I was climbing it, you know, I can tell that, okay, this is the intention of the root setter is to see one, like the hip flexibility in that first move where you stab your right foot out and also how quickly you can transition your weight over your hips and be as like the least amount of, of finger intensity as possible. This session wasn't in the program. Uh, I just had a day in between weeks where I could go to the gym and just have a fun little projecting session. So this is a pink line, uh, which is matches the hardest color that I've done in the gym. Uh, and it felt pretty hard for me as well. Um, so I just decided to spend some attempts on it. Uh, and this is what they looked like. So that was probably my closest attempt from the ground. Uh, this right hand hold uh, is actually no text on the top. So that's what makes this left foot really difficult. Um, and then flicking that right foot out. I think the main reason I'm falling on these attempts is because I was getting a good toe hook in there so that you know my weight was supported. But reaching out to that left hand crimp, uh, I was a bit too stretched out and the toe hook would pop off and that would pretty violently move my weight over uh, to the left and I just didn't have the finger strength to hold on to it. Uh, so next session, I'm gonna try to hold that toe hook less uh, and start pushing off my right foot first. And that was about it for, for this week of training. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. The deload week was, was really welcome uh, and I'm ramping up into week four now. Uh, I'm feeling pretty strong, like even on this like projecting session, like I think this would have been pretty hard for me um, before the program. And I'm glad to see at least a tiny marker of progress. Uh, later on in the weeks, there's a lot more um, like finger testing and pull up testing and benchmarks coming up uh, that I'm excited to do. So I hope you stay tuned for that. And I always leave these videos off with a fall. So here's one.